Hello, you're watching MyVar. My name is Emil, and today we're going to look at a fairly interesting project. One that was quite a um, complicated process to uh, implement. So what you see over here is a point cloud. And in a previous video, we um, looked at a viewer for a point cloud like this. And um, in today's video, we're going to look at a way of kind of trying to take this point cloud and converting it into a mesh. I will add that this is a really bad way. It was more of an experiment, but it's still a very interesting result. And uh, this is kind of the result, as you can see. And the I added a, a modifier over here, if I take it away. So it's a bunch of um, plane slices that line up with the, the point cloud. And then I'm just giving it some thickness to try and visually see what's going on over here make it really thick and then you know it kind of lines up like that and um, it's an interesting approach it's not the best like I said it's not very accurate but it works good enough um, yeah so let's take a look at how the code works so the way the code works is in the program we load up the point cloud itself so that's there then we slice it and the way the point cloud slicer works is it um, goes through all the layers and um, well okay I should add first we load the point cloud which is just a simple PLY um, parser so it lit literally just parses the, um, the PLY file and it gets a min max range then we take the the, that part and then we slice it and then the point cloud slicer creates a bunch of layers and then it relative to the min max of the so relative to the min max it will just put it in a bunch of layers according to this resolution then once that has happened we it, it saves those to disk oh no sorry first we have the the, the edge generator and the edge generator will it is where kind of most of this complexity happens and so the way it works is <clears throat> this is we add this and this is purely so we can sort it afterwards that's what that is and we go and we create a bitmap on this bitmap we plot every um, point in the um, point cloud in the slice of the point cloud uh, with a huge like a size 40 um, blob then we use a blob detector to find them all. Then from a previous video, the geometry tracer video, we implemented this algorithm. And what this algorithm does is it triangulates the, uh, oh, or not, yeah, yeah, well, it technically triangulates, it traces it out then triangulates the uh, blob itself. Then we add that blob's points to these, these points, and then we, um, take a slice right um, and these points are triangles and that's an individual disk finally we added the slice and then we're done I'm just saving this out for debugging but that's all that that is and then we sort them the layers because it's multi-threaded so I have to sort them afterwards so that the layers are in the correct order because the multi-threading doesn't happen in the right order and uh, again the triangulator is in another video you can go look at it at the geometry tracer video and now in the um, program so the next step is to then take these vertices and we just add them to the indices and then finally we just save those out to disk and that's what you see it's what's well, a very interesting um, problem I tried a few different approaches and it's it's not perfect um, I mean at the very least it could give you a bounding box of the point cloud for navigation or something um, I will definitely experiment in the future of point clouds but for now I think I'm going to move on to other things I did uh, find this very fun and for those of you who are curious uh, no, not this one it's this one no. uh, that's a, a density map no, oh, I think it's TMP4, maybe 3. Yeah, here we go. 
so this is how it looks. This dark gray is the um, um, the points in that slice, and then the the green dots are the actual points themselves. They get plotted out. The the cyan dot represents a blob that was detected, and then the red dots represent corners. And these corners are then traced out to to create the final mesh uh, for the individual layers. So that's kind of every slice of the model. Um, and then that's what you saw in Blender reconstructed into one single um, thing. So a very, very interesting project indeed. Um, yeah. And um, thanks for watching. Please do leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.